So, alright, now we got this part and we get damage from our enemy. And yeah, everything works fine. And now we need to think of what we do next. So, what I want to do first, I guess, is, is like uh, giving the enemy some sort of HP so he can actually die. And mm, basically, you can do it within this event, but I would say you do an extra event and call it something like uh, giving stats or something else. So basically what this event does is um, it gives the stats to your uh, um, to your enemies or you can give stats, yeah. You can simply say like you can create a variable and call it something like um, yeah, enemy HP. I only have one enemy so I don't have much problems. So just one variable, set it to like, I don't know, what do you want? We can set it like, yeah, let's set it to 5. Uh, Alright, 5 is pretty much. Okay, so we need to make it, uh, yeah, auto run part of the process, it doesn't matter. And. Um, through is important because it's on this tile here and we want to go we even want to we want to be possi have a possibility to, to walk in this corner so we set it to through enemy HP is set and now we create a switch so that this won't get called all day long because it would be stupid because if we don't set the switch here, it will set the enemy HP all every step to like to to five, and this is not good because we want to decrease it if we hit him and if it gets set to five every day, every I don't know every step, um, then or every frame, then it would be not so good because we could never defeat our enemy. And this is the reason why we need to switch here and call it I don't know, set set and set it to on. And now we create a new page. This could be action button, set it to through again and stat set. So most of you will know but I will explain it. So we set the enemy HP to 5, stats will be turned on, and if stats are turned on, this page will get executed, so nothing more happens. So you give the stats, and then it's done. Alright, and now we need to decrease the HP of this enemy if it gets hit by the bullet. And we have here if... Oh, is it here? here? Ah, here. If bullet X and enemy X and bullet Y and enemy Y are on the same coordinate it must mean that it's a hit and we... and we turn uh, we change the variable of our enemy HP and subtract it by one. Alright, so every time we hit him, he gets one less. Um, I think we should also turn the bullet on to off if an enemy gets hit from the bullet. So the bullet 
stops when it hits an enemy. Uh, you could also do it like make it go through the enemy so you could hit maybe multiple targets if if one enemy is standing behind the other or behind another but um, in this case we want to do it like that. So we... what do we do? We turn the switch of a bullet off. And now this should be working. I'm not sure. And we're gonna start this all on. on. Two, three, four, five. And of course, nothing will happen because we didn't set anything for the enemy if he's dead. So, this is done. So, we need another event here. If it gets hit, will it get turned, turned off? And we need to make another switch where the enemy one is dead. So the first, the, this enemy is dead. So enemy dead. Oh, we could also do something else, but I think this is better. So the enemy will enemy dead switch will get turned on if I'll cut it out. So we need to check for something else. So if if enemy HP is Oh, this noise outside is really distracting me. Um, if it's smaller and zero, then we should turn enemy data. So basically what this does is it checks if the enemy got hit, and if it got hit, it um, decreases the enemy HP by one, turns the bullet off, and after that it checks if the enemy HP has reached zero or below. So in this case enemy dead will be turned on. And this should be it I guess. Enemy dead on. And now we need just as a third page a condition that enemy dead is on. Um, Set the dead monster. Mm. Yeah, there we go. It's a bet. And don't walk. We leave it like that, and we could. Yeah, we could say on um, player touch. This enemy is dead. And the thing is, you could also do it and set it to action button. But at the moment, if we hit the action button, our bullet will start to fly around. And so I set it to player touch so. Yeah, there will be no problem with, um, yeah, with a shooting system, I don't know. Um, yeah, so now test it again. And now we get shoot. Feel. Oh, well, yeah, we uh, forgot to set it to a fixed direction, so it changes the direction. And, of course, 
there are other pictures in this direction. So basically what happens here is if we set it to this, but if it turns right it will be this, if it turns left it will be this, if it turns up it will be this. So for example, I don't know what the animation, so we could see it here. So this is basically facing down, so if it's facing down it looks like that. If it's facing left it look, looks like that. If it's facing right it looks like that. And so on. So we need to set this to... Mm, direction fix. Direction fix means that it doesn't matter from what direction you talk to it, it will always be this picture. Alright, and now this should be done. So we need, don't need to test it again. I, I, knew, I know it's working. And so the next thing we want to see is how the enemy can do attacks like I did in the, in the video. And what we need here is like, so we will, I will just do it with four fireballs to explain it to you. You could do like 10 or 15 or whatever you like, so it doesn't matter. 